Hello everybody and welcome back for more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we completed the Spirit Temple, we uh, defeated Twin Rova, and we at uh, long last have awakened all six of the sages. And so in this episode, uh, Robert said that uh, we apparently have a date over in the Temple of Time, so... I uh, decided to just uh, go back over there on foot instead of playing the Prelude of Light because I, I don't know, I guess uh, just to make a dramatic entrance or something like that. I know, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm that much of a nerd, so let's go ahead and stay there and uh, see uh, who awaits us. I wonder... I have been waiting for you, Link. Wait a minute, I know that familiar whispering voice. Oh! Sheik, so you're my date some prayer tonight. Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six ages. And now you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf, the evil, the king of evil. I was about to say evil king, but I guess I kind of switched around. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend. The Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikas. All right, folks, get ready for some more uh, heavy uh, plot dumps and all that for more uh, exposition. Yeah, back to those kind of things. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle, listen well. The resting place of the Sacred Triangle, the Sacred Realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain a true force to govern all. But, if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, Wisdom, and Courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce. The part representing the Force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true Force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Well, that's uh, good to know. It's uh, kind of a birthmark of a destiny, I would say. Can you say that much? Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link. And the other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom, is the Seventh Sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. Seventh Sage? Wait, Seventh Sage? I don't know if you six, what are you doing? Why are you flashing that bright light at me? Yeah! Damn it! Yeah, too bright. No? Oh! Well then, um. I wish I could say this is a spoiler heavy, but you know what? If you play Super Smash Bros. Melee, that's not a spoiler anymore. So anyway, it is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. So, you've been Zelda the whole time. You were really hiding that. Fascinating. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. So that's where you've been the whole time. And, uh, I see you look pretty glamorous here. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Ooh, flashbacks. Got all those. Ah, yes, I remember. Yeah, the whole, uh, the whole plan that actually turned to absolute shit because, uh, because, you know, it had backfired tremendously. I thought I should entrust the Ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. And look how that shit turned down because, uh, well, uh, you know, it just screwed everything over. 
As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the Sacred Realm, but... Something I could never expect happened. That is me being put into a coma. After you opened the Door of Time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Yep, yep, you guys, you already guessed. I was put in a coma. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the Evil King, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. Yep, you sure did. That, <laughs> that's a long time, like seven years, holy shit. And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the Evil King, will end. The Six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the Evil King, will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's de defenses. The power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light. Oh, Arrow of Light, say, ooh, so another one of those uh, elemental uh, upgrades here. Uh, by the way, Zelda, um, I think you probably could have just uh, kept your disguise on for a minute there, just saying. And, I mean, we could, we probably wouldn't have to for the worse. Hmm, looks like lemon candy. Oh, thanks for this lemon candy here, this uh, rock candy. Alright, so now we have the light arrow. Set to see, and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice will smite evil. And that does consume your magic, so don't try not to use it too much. Uh-oh. Earthquake. What's going on? Why, why is there an earthquake going on just all so suddenly? That rumbling. It can't be. How do we even have my rumble pack equipped? What's going on? Uh, oh, 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 what the? Ah, of course, you're almost immediately kidnapped there. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. Oh, shit. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But, with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Yep, like I said, Zelda, you shouldn't have removed your ninja disguise, and you let yourself almost immediately get captured. That's just a lot. Why should you remove that in the first place? Anyway, so... Alright, well, Zelda's been kidnapped, and so we have to go over to Ganon's castle to, uh, to save her and save the world. You know what that means, folks. You know very well what that means. Let's go hunt for some more gold us and do other shit that we uh, didn't necessarily need to do because, uh, because, because you know, that's uh, just not necessary at all. Yes, folks, uh, um, before we actually go into Raygan, or Raygan's castle once and for all, um, there's actually a few more things we need to get out of the way. Uh, we collected all the other gold skatulas, and so there's actually one other gold skatula that we haven't collected just yet. So, so as you can see here, I'm back over in uh, Zora's Fountain because uh, there is that one that we need to get. As once again, that's over in um, over nighttime, and so we have the silver gauntlets now, so we can just uh, toss this uh, silver boulder. Of course, uh, you know silver gauntlet, silver boulder. So of course it makes sense, right? And then we just use the uh, Megaton Hammer. I think you can actually uh, bomb this uh, rock here, but I decided to just use the Megaton Hammer because, well, it's it's quicker and easier that way. And then we just uh, drop down here just like that, and there we go. Yeah, it's a whole uh, secret passage that's over in uh, Zora's Fountain that we uh, never knew about. And you're going to want to use use your uh, Lens of Truth for this one because uh, there are going to be some invisible enemies, uh, like such right here. Yeah, these uh, invisible uh, Skulltulas are up there. Um, you can actually just uh, shoot with the air if you want to, just uh, one-shot them, just like that there before you can actually just uh, proceed onwards, and then they just uh, jump scare you just by um, falling down there. And yeah, like I say, you want to make sure that it's uh, that's nighttime, because, you know, this uh, Gold Skotula can only be uh, accessed at, uh, over at nighttime. So just uh, climb this ladder that's uh, that's up there, and I think that should be just uh, one more of the, um, that big Skotula, if I'm not mistaken. I think there was when I uh, remembered uh, recording this. 
Actually, no, that, yeah, this guy wasn't. Okay, he's completely visible, so let's go and shoot right here. Alright, so there it is. Let's, there's that, uh, that one last gold Skatula. Now, I say one last here because we uh, go over to the uh, selection screen. Yes, there it is. So we have 99 gold Skatulas that they can see are here. 99 of those. So, this, this should be the very last gold Skatula, and after that, then that should be all 100 of those. So let's go and kill that one and add this uh, token right there. And there we go. Now, for some reason, it doesn't even say the problem that we collected all 100 gold skulltulas, but let's go back over to the menu. There we go. There it is, right there. You see that's marked in red? We got, we have received every single one of the 100 of the gold skulltulas. We have found every last one of them. And so with that, then, the curse of the uh, House of Skulltula in Kakariko Village should be broken already. So we're going to go over there and uh, see what our final prize is going to be. Now, like I said, folks, um, you don't really have to collect all 100 of those. I mean, if you just want to get the hard pieces, then uh, you want to go ahead and just uh, collect up, or just uh, destroy up to 50 gold skatulas. Because, uh, well, we'll probably just uh, see, in, um, see in a sec, though, uh, for the uh, final prize. Uh, so we'll just uh, head back over to the house of uh, Skulltula and uh, see what the last prize is. And uh, ignore this uh, Poe, because, uh, well, I just uh, didn't really feel like killing this Poe. Um, I think, uh, I think what I did was, well, actually, no, I just, uh, you know, just making my way all, all the way over to, uh, over to that, uh, last house over there. I thought I was just, uh, cutting some, uh, bushes, uh, for, um, well, just for the sake of it, but, um, but I, I realized I actually didn't, because I didn't really want to waste your time, so. Let's go back over to the house of Skulltula, and then, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, just, uh, yeah, talk to this guy here, he's, uh, back to his old self. Since you destroyed 100 spiders of the curse, the curse on me has been broken. Thank you. Here is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. All right, our final prize at long last. We shall receive a huge rupee. It is worth the rabbit to 200 rupees, and we already have all 500 of those. You fucking dick! You could have given me just some, just some other kind of special prize, but say you just give us some, give us some rupees, you fucking cheapskate! Uh, so yes, that was the final prize for getting all 100 gold Skulltulas, and so, yeah. Um, like I said, you don't have to get all 100 of those, because yeah, it turns out the reward is fucking pointless for all the for all the shit that I had to go through getting all 100 of the gold Skulltulas going all over the place, and that's what I get for, for this! Just a, a huge rupee that I already got that's just pointless anyway. Ugh. Yeah, thanks a lot. So yeah, that was that was just a not very well worth the prize. I mean, it could be useful if you just want to get more rupees, but... Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, so we've got more things I want to do, actually, just to show off. Uh, go back to the tent, here's a uh, running man. I'm the wandering running man. I've run all over this land in search of true competitive spirit. I beat all my challengers, man and beast. You're an athletic guy, and you look like you might have a true killer instinct, too. Now that the bridge over Gerudo Valley is, completed, is complete, I'm looking for a challenger to have a commemorative race against. The best time to go from here to the bridge in the Lost Woods was 2 minutes and 38 seconds. That's my record. Will you challenge my record? Yes, so we're going to do that right here. Excellent. Then, you go first. I'll give you a head start. Now, go ahead. Alright, so this one I'm going to go ahead and show off here because uh, basically what the running man is doing right now is that um, uh, he wants you to go and be his record. So you want to go over to uh, from Gerudo Valley all the way over to Lost Woods. So I'm actually just going to go over there on foot or with, uh, with Epona and just not do the cheap way. And so just uh, go over there. That's, that's why I'm speeding this up here because it's kind of a long way over. So that's what I'm doing. So anyway, uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically uh, what we can do. Uh, it, you know, just a couple more things to show off uh, for the rest of this video. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, basically, it's just some uh, optional stuff, you know, you don't have to go through those, but, you know, just for the sake of this Let's Play, I actually did want to uh, show this off. So, for this one, it's basically just some, some kind of uh, running main course is that, um, you want to try to go ahead and beat his record, that's, uh, like, 2 minutes and 38 seconds. So, we're going to head back over to uh, Lost Woods, well, over to the uh, entrance of uh, Kukiri Forest, over to the bridge. And so, here we're here, we made it here. And so, uh, looks like we have uh, managed to get there and just uh, do time here before uh, we actually, um... Before we could ever just, uh, you know, go over the record. So let's go in here. And then, uh, uh, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get here? <sighs> Whew. You did quite well. But you couldn't beat me. Your time was 1 minute 34 seconds, but I just beat you by what? By one second? What the fucking shit? How? How? How did you get here by one second? You, you, you ran over there on foot. You didn't have any warp songs. Only I was able to use those. How the fuck did you do that? I... Ugh. Motherfucker. Yeah, that was, uh, that was running away, of course. It was completely pointless because, you know, there's no way he could ever win. And actually, as a matter of fact, 
Um, people have actually tried hacking into it and just, uh, you know, uh, and actually try to be the running man, but if you ever do so, then the game actually crashes, so there's no way whatsoever that you can actually win this, so, um, so yeah, I figured I'd show this off, just show the humiliation here. Alright, so one last thing to show off in this video, um, so if you remember, uh, since we've already saved, uh, Lon Lon Ranch, and so, uh, we actually never got back over there, and just to see how, uh, things were doing, because the last time I was run over by, uh, Ingo, but since we already, uh, got opponents, so we therefore we saved Lon Lon Ranch, I figured just to go ahead and, uh, just, uh, check up on the place, uh, oh, yeah, hello there, Ingo or Luigi. Hi there, how are you? I am Ingo, I feel so honored to be allowed to work here! Oh, look at that, he looks, uh, happy somehow, I guess he's just putting up a solder or somehow, I guess he's humble himself. Alright, so yeah, we'll just uh, go and reunite with some old friends here, and uh, right, we'll just uh, talk to this, um, this uh, kind of lady here. Uh, thank you very much for the other day. I haven't even asked you your name yet. You know, you look very well familiar, I gotta say. Really? Link, that's what I thought. You're the fairy boy from the forest. That was years ago. Do you remember me? Yep, that was uh, Malin. You do? I was sure it was It was you because opponent remembered you. Yeah, that's right, folks. Uh, that was uh, that's that's Malin, of course, If in case you probably already couldn't tell by now. Yeah, she's uh, she's all grown up. She, uh, she actually looks prettier now. He's afraid that the evil king might find out that opponent had been taken away. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being a normal nice guy, or nice person. Now my dad is coming back. I can't believe it, but peace is returning to this ranch. It's all because of you. I owe you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Link. Alright, so the main reason I'm actually uh, coming back here to Lon Lon Ranch in the first place is because there is a, uh, if you actually remember from one of the uh, gossip stones that we've, uh, that we had beforehand, is that there is a certain uh, obstacle course that uh, apparently uh, Malin set for us. So what we want to do is that, um, that we're going to go ahead and uh, have Pona with us. So you're going to, you're going to want to do this if you have, uh, if you're riding on Pona and just uh, talk to Malin that way. And just that uh, one thing I actually do want to show off, uh, you know, before I end up this video. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to uh, Malin first and foremost. It's like uh, that right there. Epona looks great. It looks like you were able to tame her, too. How about trying your skill with Epona on an obstacle course? I'll time you for two laps. It's pretty challenging. If you miss jumping a fence in, in the proper order, you'll fail. How about it? Do you want to try? So yeah, so let's go and uh, try this obstacle for us. So um, the current record is 50 seconds. First try to beat this record. All right, so what we gotta do is that uh, basically what it is, it's actually a um, it's actually a two-lap race, and you want to make sure that you uh, beat this in under 50 seconds. Make sure it's under 50 seconds for this, and then if you ever beat this obstacle course, then um, then you'll actually uh, you'll get a prize. And so we'll just have to see exactly what the prize is. And now for this uh, course, you want to make sure that you don't miss a fence, because uh, if opponent actually stops here, you want to make sure that you're very much fast enough for opponent to jump over the fence. Like, for these, uh, higher fences that are like there, like there, you want to make sure that you, uh, gain some speed, or just, like, immediately, I would say, like, immediately you press the A button, as soon as, like, j just once you get close to the, uh, close to the fence, so that way their opponent will be able to jump off it, because, um, because she'll only be able to, um, to, to jump over when, when she's, uh, fast enough. And like I said, it's under two laps, and you want to make sure it's over, uh, 50 seconds, so yeah, just make sure you go as fast as you can, just, uh, by jumping under the fence, um, if you, uh, if opponent actually stops, then that, then you completely fail this one. Because, um, because opponent will actually stop and, or stop our tracks and slow down. And so, yeah, I get it, like, very close. Just a look at that right there. Look at that! I barely made that just by one second. I barely made this. But we made it either way, so. Anyway, so, uh, so let's see here. You did it! 49 seconds is a new course record. I had to give you a present to commemorate your new record. The present is a little too heavy to give to you here, so I'll have it delivered to your house. Bet you can't wait to see it, hee <laughs> hee. Alright, so yeah, I gotta say, folks, uh, I've never actually beaten this record. I mean, I've, I've attempted this one, but I actually felt very miserably. Because, like, I've, you know, I've never really beaten this, of course, at all. So, this is actually my very first time beating this course, and a Let's Play, no less. But, you know, this is actually something I do want to show off, so I just want to make sure I beat this one. So, Mallet said that because the prize is apparently too heavy, um, it'll be straight to our house. And so, you would have guessed that's right, it's still going to be a Kokiri Force. Because even though Link doesn't necessarily live here anymore, because, I mean, he was, um supposed to leave this place. I mean, it's still this house regardless, so of course we're gonna go back over to Kikiri Forest and see what kind of prize it is. So let's go ahead up there. Uh, there's no place like home. Just uh, feeling homesick at this point, even though we're too big for this place. And Oh, wow. Okay then. Uh, just this random cow that was given to us. So yes, our prize apparently was uh, was a cow. Yes, a cow has been delivered straight to our house somehow. How could it even fit in, fit in this damn thing anyway? It's, it's very big. 
But of course, the lead is beneficial because we play an uh, opponent song and actually just uh, get some uh, llama milk. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we can do. So yeah, that's uh, that's what the prize was. It's a uh, it's a cow that gets someone got our house. So yeah, that's what it was. So I figured I would just uh, go ahead and show this off uh, to, to those of you who just uh, want to see for, for the sake of the let's play. So. Anyway, so that should be it for this video, and so next time let's play Ocarina of Time. There's actually one more optional thing that I do want to show off before we enter against castle, and we'll see what it is. So I will see you guys then.